Hey, hey, everyone. Um, so it is a lovely, fantastic Wednesday, August 3rd, 2016, around 2.30 p.m. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible because I do need to get back on the road um, to get to my kiddo. Uh, so I was able to um, go through with my meeting today with one of my employers, um, which is the employer that... I work for with the kiddos that I have um, so I <clears throat> just wanted to kind of let you guys know that uh, the meeting went extremely well um, it was also very humorous and just all around made me feel even better about what I'm doing and um, I feel very 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 supportive I cannot say enough about this particular agency um, I highly recommend them if anybody wants more information on that um, anyway it just I met with my supervisor the field uh, field supervisor um, her supervisor that hired me and one of the behavioral analysts or the BCBA as we call her um, so I met with the three of them in a tiny little office and uh, it just started off really humorous and I'm like guys what is in your water I want some um, but they just are all genuinely very supportive and said, you know, we wanted to talk about this and, um, you know, it's a first for them, but they are willing to do whatever they can to help. Um, you know, I did share with them that my other employer isn't seeming to be so kind about everything, um, which is sparking me to go speak to someone next week. Um, I actually have an appointment, uh, I believe it's on Tuesday, um, in between jobs I'm going over to the main Human Rights Commission to speak to a legal counsel uh, person who can't give me actual legal advice but can point me in the right direction um, and um, today you know they just said hey you know if there's anything that we're doing wrong please let us know and I I laughed and said no you guys are so supportive I said I mean I'd be happy to share with you any information I might get out of it um just so that you do know but I said like I'm not putting you guys under a microscope and please don't feel that way and they understood what I was saying and they're not worried but they said no we just would like to know because we don't really know all the ins and outs of the law and I mean that's a very honest way to go about it you know they're gonna share my information with the HR department um because HR is in a different uh, location because we're um, a little bit bigger than just the office that I went to today um, so things are moving along um, we've decided that it would be best if my field supervisor and the BCBA um, go out to speak to the family um, or excuse me the mother of one of the consumers that I have um, just because uh, we all are aware that the reaction might not be a good one. Um, they did let it, let it, the decision be up to me. If I had wanted to um, talk to mom one-on-one, -on -one, I could have most certainly have done that or they could have accompanied me when I did it. Um, they, they want me to do what makes me feel the most comfortable, but I did share with them that I would have a panic attack if I were to try to sit there with mom and, and say anything just because I know... Uh, her viewpoint on transgender issues um, or transgenderism as I like to say I don't know if that's really a term yeah transgenderism um, she believes is a mental health issue um, or like a mental illness and you know like I explained to them today I said the newer DSMs um, which, which mental health professionals use to code people and to diagnose people um, the new DSMs are trying to get away from gender identity disorder altogether um, because it's not really a disorder. Um, you know, anyway, I'm not going to get into that right now, but <clears throat> I said, you know, regardless, it's just that I'm trying to be who I am. Um, and we talked about like time frames of everything. Um, I shared with them that I should be able to start tea within the next few weeks at the most. Um, I don't really know how long it's going to take for changes of any significance to take place. I said, you know, between one and three months, certain things could start to happen or it could be as much as six months. Um, everybody, you know, I explained to them that 
testosterone injections, you know, start out at a slow dose usually, um, which is the plan for me. Um, and then, you know, they'll slowly increase the dosages and that just depends on how my body uh, responds to everything. So just as long as, um, you know, the blood work and metabolic panels come back okay next week, um, I should be able to start the injections. Um, and then, you know, I told them I could share with them anything that I'm seeing or noticing. Um, they're going to tell the families that I would prefer to have male pronouns used immediately. Um, because I said, you know, that just seems reasonable. And I also explained that I want to emphasize that nobody needs to walk on eggshells. That I understand um, misgendering happens. It's going to happen. As soon as I open up my mouth, the feminine voice comes out. I said, I I get that and I said I joke with people that I'm not the stereotypical or traditional trans person um, and I mean no offense to my brothers and sisters out there but I try really really hard not to get offended over or butt hurt I guess is the new term and I'm not sure how I feel about that term butt hurt because it almost seems something negative anyway but please don't get offended by the term butt hurt if I ever say it I don't mean it in in the way that maybe some people would think of it. Um, anyway, moving along. Um, I'm trying really hard to keep in check with that sort of thing and realize that not everybody knows. Um, you know, when I'm in public, I do tend to get bothered and upset because I'm more masculine, I feel, in appearance. Um, and I try really hard to, you know, to put that forth. And when I'm still being called ma'am and lady, you know, it does become obnoxious and hurtful. Um, but I also realize that those that have known me as Julie and with female pronouns are going to have an even tougher time adjusting. And that the, I'm not expecting overnight that people are going to know uh, what to do and what to say. Um, mistakes happen. Basically, the only thing I'm asking for is a little bit of respect, you know, and that people try. Um, so that's where I'm at today, guys. I mean, I just, I feel very supported by this agency and I just could cry because they are, uh, so fucking amazing. Yeah. Pardon hard in the words. I know I have a mouth sometimes, but <sighs> peeps, you just don't even know how much this means that an employer could be so forward thinking. Um, we've come a long way in, in, in many, in many areas of life, but this is one that's still kind of lightly treaded and not well known. And, uh, you know, it's just, progress and I want I want to be a model of it's okay to be you to live your life genuinely I want people to know that it's okay to ask questions in to become informed because I think that there's just so much not known out there um and, you know, they did ask me, uh, they said, you know, maybe it's a silly question, but what about, you know, names? Like, you know, you're going to change your name. How does that legally happen? I said, well, you know, I haven't um, legally changed my name yet. But when that happens, I will notify you immediately. And I forgot to mention to them that, you know, it's a little bit of a process with the courts to get gender markers changed and, um you know, for all of that. But those are things that, you know, I'll talk to the nurse practitioner family planning about next week, hopefully. Um, I was a little worried about how I would get time off last minute to go do what I need to do. Um, guys, I'm going to be late, so I need to go. Maybe we can continue this later. I don't really need to go on and on about this anyway. So peace out, guys. Um, thanks for listening and watching, as always, and have a beautiful day.